welcome to another down the rabbit hole video thought I'd try another Vectrex game out and this one's kind of got a little bit of an Atari spin to it although really not Atari technically Activision uh, playing Spike's water balloons here on the Vectrex and it's basically Kaboom for the Atari 2600 by Activision but this is like a Vectrex version it's got a few extra little bells and whistles I've got uh, an overlay here a repro that somebody had made years ago and it, uh, it suits it very, very well. Uh, so basically Spike has to, I think, just not so much stop the uh, bombs from dropping onto the bottom of the ground like in Kaboom, but more like he has to stop the rocks that Spud is dropping on him in order to save Molly, something to that effect. That's probably the story there. Uh, anyway, let's fire it up and I'll show you. There's one little neat trick to it here. There's Spike dropping a bunch of rocks. I guess we just stop these from hitting the bottom, like in Kaboom style. Oh, like, yeah, obviously that's the one. Molly has said, oh no! What's really cool is this uses the analog controller very well on the um, Vectrex. The analog uh, stick, I can sort of use it to go back and forth very, very rapidly. It didn't help me just there, but I wanted to show off. That's what it does. So yeah, I can move Spike nice and easily. Let's actually concentrate on stopping these bombs. I mean, they look like bombs. This is one of those cases where having an analog control makes a big difference. Level two. Now, from what I've heard, level four is when things get real tough. So let's give this a go here. Concentrating. Like with Kaboom, super easy to begin with, but it ramps up quickly. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, darn it. Oh, no, as Molly says. Game over. Now, there is one part of the game I didn't actually demonstrate, and this throws me off. I'm not sure entirely what's going on here, but you can actually use uh, Spike's legs to kick those bombs back up. I thought that was like a way to weaken Spud, but no, I think it's just a way to buy yourself some time. Let me do this again, and this time I'll kick the bombs back up. Yeah, so you see, I can actually kick. So if I do that carefully, there, I go back up to the top of the screen, but they don't do anything other than just come right back down again. So maybe if you're running out of time or something, yeah, basically, oh, what? Oh, I guess I missed one. Ha! That was me thinking I actually made some progress. Okay, let's do this again. Let's see if I can kick those back up. But they just come right back down again, so I think it's just a way of saving yourself a bit of time when things get real tough. Oh, darn it. Oh, no. You know, I was doing better before when I wasn't trying to kick them back up, so let's just concentrate on getting the bombs. Maybe I'll kick one up. There we go. Yeah, it just comes back down again, and sometimes in a less opportune position. I like that. I don't know what the benefit is of kicking those back up. Okay, well, there's, there's basically the premise of the game. Let me give this a, a proper serious try here. Jeez, see, that doesn't really help me. Uh, 
At least it doesn't regress down, like if you lose level 2, it's not like it slows down again to level 1 speed or anything. Although that would actually be a good thing, I think. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's get to level 3. Oh yeah, now we're tough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. One last attempt. I think kind of the high scores I've seen online are like 80 to 90 points. And I've done 25. Okay, let's, uh, let's really give it a shot here. Simple at first. Oh, what the? I got that one. Okay, I guess that's maybe where the strategy of kicking is best. If you don't get it at the top of your head and it's getting down to the ground, kick it back up. See? Oh, I should have kicked again, too. Now this is the analog version. I wonder what would happen if I can uh, use my spinner, my Atari spinner, because sometimes those work in, in Vectrex games. Let me just uh, try that out. Hang on a sec. Okay, well the answer is a resounding no. I think the uh, game needs to be modded to work with this. I, I gave the old uh, Atari driving controller a shot. Um, with it plugged into controller one position, uh, the button doesn't get recognized, which is something I'd forgotten about. And with it plugged into position number two here, which does work with some games, it's not getting recognized. So this, uh, this would have need to, needed to have been made with a spinner in mind, which is fine. Um, I think it's still a really cool game. This came out uh, in 2000 as part of the All Good Things collection. And I just thought, yeah, it'd be kind of neat to give uh, Spike's water balloons a try, especially since I got the overlay. Um, I thought to myself, well, we've got the Atari 50th anniversary going on a little while ago. People are all talking Atari games. And for me, Kaboom is one of the greatest games for the Atari 2600, even though it's an Activision game. So I thought, well, here's a nice, interesting way to celebrate both Atari, Activision, and the Vectrex all in one with Spike's water balloons. But it's a pretty hard game. I mean, getting past level 3 is turning out to be really, really tricky. So there you go. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for now. Until next time, we'll uh, see you down the rabbit hole.